Hello, let's take a look for the upcoming features in Betaflight 3.4. Little bit of code statistic for the beginning. 7276 lines of code was added. 4783 lines of code was removed. Gyro handling changes. The configuration of hardware low pass filter for the gyro was changed. The gyro LPF value is now split into two new values. One is for non 32k mode gyro rates, and the second is for 32k mode gyro rates. The new filter values for this hardware filter are normal, what is same as off on Beta Flight 3.3, experimental, and 1 kHz sampling mode. The difference between normal and experimental is just in the cutoff frequency of hardware low pass filter, which in experimental case is much higher than in normal setting. Gyro filtration improvements. The gyro filter types was extended in Beta Flight 3.4. And you can now select from PT1, Bikewad, Butterworth, Bikewad RC42, and Fast Kalman filters. So it means that for testing the Fast Kalman, you don't need to recompile the beta flight from the source code with this option enabled anymore. There is also added a stage 2 filter configurable via Gerolo Pass 2 type. Gerolo Pass 2 HZ and Gerolo Pass 2 Order. The type selection is same as for stage 1. The order applies only for Butterword filter and it's simply spoken the value how many filters of the same type you are cascading together. So it's increasing the attenuation of the filter but also increasing the latency of the filter. Another feature added in Betaflight 3.4 is LMA smoothing for gyro data. LMA stands for Lagged Moving Average. This feature takes an samples and calculates the average value of gyro data in that window. This method acts as a low pass filter with interesting properties, such as a smooth change for rapid values changes and as finite state property. For 12 samples LMA, there is about 3% increase in CPU utilization on 32 gyro loops. Feature is configurable via gyro LMA depth and gyro LMA weight. In beta flight 3.4 is also increased the performance of dynamic filters on the 16 and 32k gyro sampling loops. The CPU utilization decreased about 5% on the 32k gyro loops. PID loop improvements. The values for DTM low pass filter and the low pass filter will be renamed in upcoming beta flight 3.4. There is also added a second PT1 DTM low pass filter configurable via DTM low pass 2 HZ. Also, the set point relax ratio is allowed to be set to zero. In previous version, the minimum can be set only to 1, which can cause discontinuity, aka sharp deep dips in D term. Another cool stuff is coming. In Beta Flight 3.4, you can expect the USB mass storage support, so your drone can be attached to the PC as a flash drive. There is also added support for USB HID, so you plug the drone to PC and your first 8 channels will be passed as a joystick for example, so you can fly the simulators wirelessly. There is added support for programming Arduino devices in pass-through mode, and when you have disabled RSSI channel and you are using the SBUS, you can get RSSI alerts based on dropped frames. This can be configured via RSSI, SRC, frame errors and the value is on or off. There is also added option to invert camera control configured via camera control inverted. 
and of course, a lot of bug fixes. At the end, I would like to provide you with a few links. The first one is official bet beta flight Facebook group created by developers. Second one is official beta flight Slack channel. And the last one is the latest beta flight 3.4 build, which you can download and test yourself. So what do you think about the new upcoming features in beta flight 3.4? Let me know in the comments below. Also the link to the presentation is attached in the description of this video. Thank you for your attention and see you next time. Happy flying!